Welcome back. New at six, a new report shows black women and Latinas in California continue to face barriers when it comes to mental health care. Our race and culture reporter Candace Red spoke with a therapist in Sacramento working to change that. It's just such a rewarding, rewarding job. Nurse Basuto Fuentes, who's Latina, says she loves being a therapist in Sacramento. I love helping people. I love to see people grow. At a young age, Basuto Fuentes says she struggled to find health professionals of the same race, culture, and language. So she wanted to change that. I think having more representation in this field is just so important. It breaks those cultural barriers. It puts down those walls as soon as you can talk to someone in that language. While growing up, Basuto Fuentes says she experienced racism impacting her own mental health. Being called names because I'm Hispanic, being in an environment where I was the only Latina, that was extremely hard as a kiddo to be exposed to that, not even knowing the language, I would not be able to speak English, so then finding out what those words are, it was very hurtful. This mental health crisis is hitting our young women even more so than our older women. Nearly 70% of black women and Latinas in California say racism impacts their mental health. That's according to a new report from the nonprofits Black Women Organized for Political Action and Hispanas Organized for Political Equality. In fact, we heard quotes from black women and Latinas overwhelmingly saying they often felt like they weren't being heard or understood with, um, by providers who did not understand the culture in which they were being raised and didn't understand the racism and discrimination they were facing. Even as I was finding clinicians, clinicians letting me know that they don't see color. Now, Basuto Fuentes says she's focused on helping people of all ages and backgrounds, especially Latinas and Black women. Well, I know that struggles are hard if you're not alone. You really aren't. The report calls for healthcare providers and universities to invest in the number of black women and Latinas who enter mental health professions. It also suggests lowering healthcare costs and raising more awareness about mental health in communities of color.